Hey guys, let's give everybody a handshake or a hug. Tell them you're happy to see them. Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Good morning to everybody. How do you do? Good morning to you. Good morning to you. Come on everybody. How do you do? Say this is the day. The Lord is made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. This is the day. The Lord is made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Hosanna. God bless you today. I hope your day so far has been amazing. And guys, we are going to have an amazing class today. First off, of course, we'll put on the armor of God. Then we got our brand new memory verse. 2 Timothy 4, 7 says, I have fought the good fight. I finished the race and kept the faith. And then, guys, we got our Bible story talking about Paul and how he built some tents to help build some people. Come on, guys. And then, of course, we'll finish it up with a brand new song. And as always, our Ten Commandments and our two rules. Guys, remember, I love you. God loves you. God's with you. Be blessed. I'm for the armor of God. Please stand. And remember, boys versus girls, who can be louder? Yes, everyone. Thank you for coming today. Let's put on the armor of God. Belt of truth. <laughs> Your breastplate of righteousness. <laughs> your shoes of peace. Make sure you tie them tight. <laughs> Take up your shield of faith. Cover it in the oil of the Holy Spirit. <laughs> Put on your helmet of salvation to protect your eye, your mouth, your ear, and your mind. <laughs> then you take up the sword of the Spirit, which is the Word of God. Which is the Word of God. <laughs> then we cover ourselves in the blood because it's the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus, baby. The blood of Jesus sets us free. <laughs> Hands together, fingers crossed, heads bowed, eyes closed. Lord God, we honor you today and we give you praise in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> well, hi, everybody. Please sit down. It's me, Orby. I'm going to tell you the memory verse. Let's get going. Well, hey, guys. <laughs> I hope you're excited. Today's memory verse is really fun. <laughs> it's one of my favorites. It goes like this. 2 Timothy 4, 7. I have fought. And you, you got two fists and, you, and you're, like you're pushing back and forth like you're fighting. I have fought the good fight. I have finished. And for finished, you just take your hands and you just give them a little twiggle. I finished the race. And race is really fun. You take your thumbs and you go back and forth. I finished the race. <laughs> I like that part. And then kept, you just make two K's. This is sign language for a K. You just put your thumb and then you cross them like this, like that. There you go, see that? I've kept the faith. Let's do it again. Second Timothy 4, 7. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I've kept the faith. <laughs> You're really smart. Good job, guys. All right, guys, please stand for more than 12 disciples. Should be a little jingle you recognize. Peter, James, and John, Andrew, Bartholomew, Philip, and Thomas, another James, Matthew, Simon, the Zealot, Judah, Thaddeus, Judas, the betrayer, was replaced by Matthias. Oh, disciples, disciples, there are more than twelve. Paul and Barnabas and Mark, Silas, Tim, as well. Disciples, disciples, there are more than twelve. Martha, Mary, Lydia, you and I as well. Come on now, say it again. Peter, James, and John, Andrew, Bartholomew, Philip, and Thomas, another James, Matthew, Simon, the Zealot, Judah, Thaddeus, Judas, the betrayer, was replaced by Matthias. Oh, disciples, disciples, there are more than twelve. Paul and Barnabas and Mark, Silas, Tim, as well. Disciples, disciples, there are more than twelve. Martha, Mary, Lydia, you and I as well. Yeah. Hey guys, DJ here. Please sit. We're going to talk all about how Paul builds tents and people. Yo, 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 DJ in the house, disciple of Jesus, what it is and what it was and what it will be. How are you doing? I hope you're doing amazing. I'm going to be talking about one of my favorite other DJs. That's right, the DJ Paul, disciple of Jesus Paul. He was a bad guy who did a lot of good things. So let's go ahead and pray. Holy Spirit, teach me the word of God. That's right, guys. We are going to keep it on rolling. Paul, amazing guy. He did a lot of good things, but you know what he was above all else? He was a tent builder. That's right, guys. 
He did the work that needed to be done, and he found a way to make it happen. Guys, everybody make a tent like this. Just take your hands like this. Say, tent builder. That's right. If you didn't know this, no, Paul's dad taught him how to make tents. But everybody didn't go camping. Instead, they lived in tents. A lot of people did, and Paul would help them build it. Everybody, go ahead and grab a tent. Grab a little tent peg. Tap it in. Tap, tap, tap a roof. Tap, tap, tap a roof. Tap, tap, tap a roof. One more time. Tap, tap, tap a roof. You see, he built these tents. Paul did amazing things. If you didn't know this, guys, Paul used to be a bad guy. In fact, he hated Christians. He hated people who served Christians. He got on a horse one time as he was riding. Everybody ride that horse. Come on, ride that horse now. You can ride it. That's right. He was riding that horse. And as he was riding that horse, a great light hit him. And he fell down and he couldn't see nothing. His eyes were blind. And he heard a voice. And the voice said, Why do you persecute me? Everybody say, Why do you persecute me? And Paul's like, Who is that? Everybody say, Who is that? And this voice said, it is Jesus, the one you're being mean to. You guys, anytime somebody's mean to you because you serve the Lord, they're being mean to Jesus. Now, if they're being mean to you because you've been mean to them, that ain't the same thing. Come on now, I'm talking about when you do what's right, when you're honest, when you tell the truth, when you teach people about Jesus and they say, well, Jesus, what about this Jesus? I don't care about no Jesus. You see, that is persecuting Jesus, and that means he is on your side. Paul was one of those people who persecuted Jesus until this day when he gave his life to Christ. Now, he was busy doing the work of God. One time, Paul got on a boat because he got arrested. Everybody say, shackle up, shackle, cross your arms like this. Say, oh no, put them over your head, I'm under arrest. Put them behind your back, say, I'm under arrest. Put them out in front of you, I'm being led away. You see, Paul got in big trouble. He got, he was telling everybody about Jesus and they didn't like it. They said, shut your mouth, I don't want to hear it. But he kept doing it, guys, because he was doing his job. He was a tent builder most of the time because he could go and build, and guess what he did that tent building for? For money, honey, he had to get paid. He's got to get the stacks. But why? So he could spend it all on himself and have the latest kicks, cool new headphones and glasses no no he didn't do money for that he used it so he could spread the gospel tell more people and more people about jesus so he had a job to pull his own weight so he could pay for things that he could help take care of some churches that's right it is your job to have a job everybody say it's my job to have a job so that's what we got to do today and every day so let us pray hands together let me hear that smack now hands together fingers crossed heads bowed eyes closed Say, God, help me to do my job by telling other people about Jesus. In Jesus' name, amen. Guys, that's all of our jobs is telling other people about the Lord. But yet, you still need to get up and go make some money so you can help to support yourself and other people. Now, please stand and let us finish up with our Ten Commandments. All right. One, you shall have no other gods before me. One, two, you shall not make for yourself an idol. One, two, three, you shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. One, two, three, four, you shall remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. One, two, three, four, five, honor your father and your mother. One, two, three, four, five, six, you shall not murder. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, you shall not commit adultery. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, you shall not steal, don't do it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, you shall not give false testimony. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, you shall not covet anything that belongs to your neighbor. Oh, no, don't do it. Finally, guys, one man came up to Jesus and said, Jesus, out of those ten commandments, and out of all the other commandments in the Bible, what is the most important of all the rules? And Jesus said, everybody say this after me, love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your mind, with all your soul, and all your strength. And then to love others as yourself. To do that is more important than any other rule or commandment in the entire Bible. Remember guys, I love you. God loves you. God is with you. Be blessed.